I'm gonna tell you guys seven things I regret after moving to Mexico. Number one is not learning enough Spanish. Oh my God, I regret that so much. So before Mexico, I lived in Thailand for three years and a lot of major businesses and stuff like that in Thailand, they speak English. And tomorrow today is the first day. Ah, yeah. oh, tomorrow. No. Well, in Mexico, it's completely different. They do not speak English. You can go to AT&T and they're not gonna speak English at all. They're like, what are you talking about? So I do regret not learning a little bit of Spanish before coming to Mexico because if I it just would have made things a lot more easier number two is living in fear the biggest mistake I had coming to Mexico is letting media and YouTube videos get to me there'll be nights I'll just be watching these horrific videos talking about how dangerous Mexico is and these gangs and all that stuff. When I first came to Mexico, I chose to live in a smaller town because in my head I'm thinking, oh, it's the safest option, which yeah, I would agree. Puerto Morelos, for example, where I first lived in Mexico, was really safe. But at the same time, Playa de Carmen and Cancun isn't, it's not that dangerous. It's probably the same as America. And I really sat there and let these YouTube videos and media put fear into me. Like there was a point when I was like, oh my God, I'm scared to move to play it to come and what if this, this, like I just let that get to my head. And that was one of my biggest regrets because I had to leave Puerto Morelos just because Puerto Morelos is such a small town that there wasn't a lot of options in rental and on the colonial side of Puerto Morelos, the internet was so bad. So I had to move on the beach side, but there wasn't enough options. So I had no choice but to force myself to go to play the Carmen and I definitely don't regret that because it's not as dangerous as the media puts it out to be. And I felt really safe in Play Department, best internet, closer to a lot of important things that I need. Even though I love Puerto Morelos a lot, you know, it took me five months, six months to get used to such a small town. I regret like not exploring those bigger options due to the media and YouTube putting crap in my ears. Okay, number three, I regret having way too much stuff. I feel like having too much stuff holds you down, especially when you just wanna go out there and explore, and I'm still in that situation. I have three suitcases, man, packed with clothes and stuff, and that's something I'm working on, to let go of a lot of things and stop spending money on things that I don't need or spending money on expensive things, because at the end of the day, if you have a good body, you don't need to buy expensive things, period. You feel me? And I'm just like, why did I waste my money on these pants? Why did I waste my money on this? Now I don't want to let go of the things and now I'm dragging them with me wherever I go. I feel like this jerk life would be so much easier if I just had simple, basic clothing for me to be, you know, where I'd be like, you know what, I'm gonna go to this city next month and I just need this handful of things. But I don't know, it's like collecting too much things that when you have too much things with you, it's like, I feel like it holds you down. I don't know, it's hard to explain. I just wish I didn't have so much stuff and I regret having so much things because it would have made one, made my move more easier because bringing things over to Mexico and all the weird tax things is crazy. And two, I feel like without all this stuff, it would be, I would be more free, if that makes sense. The fourth thing I regret is eating out so much. Um, just because of the different currency, sometimes, I know with me, I'm not keeping tabs on how much I'm spending when I should. And when I first came to Mexico, play the Carmen and all that, I was eating out a lot when I should have been cooking at home. And now I have changed that. I've cooked more at home or I find companies that make like meal preps because I am busy and you know find companies that are like a really good affordable price for example there's this company that i was buying from in player to come and really good plant-based foods and they'll deliver to your door really affordable but at first i was eating out a lot at the end of the day when you're spending so much when you're spending money on food and you don't realize even though it's not as expensive as the West, sometimes you don't realize how much you spend because you think it's so cheap, you spend more, and then you end up spending more money than you really don't need to. Number five, another thing I regret is not spending longer times in 
places I was visiting. Now, of course, I knew I wanted when I first moved to Mexico, I wanted to live in Quintana Roo. Like I love the beach, I love the heat, I love summer, I'm a summer's boy. So when I first moved there, I regret not spending so much time. I literally spent one day in Cancun, one day in Puerto Morelos, and one day in Playa de Carmen and made my decision off that. If I was to spend more time in Playa de Carmen, I probably wouldn't feel as uh, insecure about moving into a big town in Mexico if I spent more time there because I would have realized, oh, it's not that bad. And instead, I end up moving to Puerto Morelos, which I don't regret living in Puerto Morelos. It's, I love that town so much. But I feel like if I spent more time in other towns, I would have saved more money, saved more time, and generated more money because when I moved to Playa de Carmen and the internet was so fast, I my income increased so much compared to what I was dealing with in Puerto Morelos. So I do regret not spending longer times in those cities. Now, the last thing I regret after moving to Mexico is living in a residential home. I felt, again, due to fear that residential places will be far more safer, which my bicycle ended up getting stolen. But I feel like you save so much money when you go to like these other places that are outside of the residentials because the cost of rent is low. And it honestly was not, it's not dangerous. It's not that serious. Like I lived, when I finally moved out of the residential home and was like in the normal streets with the rest of all the Mexicans in Puerto Morelos, like it felt so good. Like, I don't know how to explain it. Nothing bad never happened to me. It wasn't, you know, like having this whole fence gated community, I guess for some people they feel more safer, but honestly it was no different. The only difference is, is that you had people down the streets asking if they wanted to cut your grass, offering you food. So there's, you get like street food, that was really cool and you really don't get that in the residential area. And most residential areas are so far away and I didn't like that. While living like in the middle of the town, I felt I was close to everything, saved more time, saved more money. Hey guys, there are these things that I regret after living in Mexico, not learning Spanish, not seeing other places a little bit more longer than I should have. And yeah, just basic things. I. Definitely don't regret living in Mexico. Mexico is such a beautiful country. The people are really nice there. Obviously, you have your dangers, but of course, if you're smart, you can really avoid those situations. It is such an amazing experience, and I would do it all over again in a heartbeat, obviously with different circumstances. But yeah, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the subscribe button notification, and I'll see you guys in another video. Peace.